Hello and welcome to my video review of the Glacier Bay Oswell Tub and Shower Set. This is a three piece set uh, that goes in a shower tub stall and as you can see it has a shower head, a water uh, hot cold uh, control knob, and the bathtub faucet. Um, so I got this as part of a review for, uh, for Home Depot's product lines. Um, you know vendors that they that they market in their stores and online um, so this model here I am actually planning on putting in my bathroom and I would have already except for the fact that I've, I've actually recently hurt my back and uh, I can no longer actually stand up for long enough to actually install this um, I'm limited to less than 10 minutes standing so we're gonna do a video review here up close and personal this is the shower head here. Um, this is a plastic material on the front facing um, with rubber nozzles. Um, the outside material here, again, plastic. I'm not as fond of having a completely plastic piece for shower equipment. I, I think that, uh, you know, something that is steel or brass or something along those lines that's more durable metal is uh preferred but um i'm still gonna give it a shot though um because glacier bay does make a uh, decent product um there's also this uh piece here which i'm going to try to focus on it you can see it's got a ball uh, that it can rotate on and then this just uh screws onto your pipe the water supply uh, for the shower unit and then uh, the next part here that we have is the water control valve. This actually is metal, as you can see. Uh, it is, a, I believe, a brass material, which is appropriate. Um, it's whatever it was expected from the shower head. But, you know, um, minor, minor thing there. As long as this piece is, is uh, made with brass. And then uh, this the black housing is actually metal on this it is not plastic like the other one even though they look similar um when next to each other um one is metal versus plastic and then what we have here is the uh, i believe the hydrostatic control valve this is for controlling the hot and cold water i'm going to turn it right side up for you so you can see uh, it has up uh, it has 873 stamped on the bottom, has cold and hot stamped there. Um, this is what you use with that handle to control the hot and cold water. And then you finally have your bathroom faucet. And once again, we have a metal piece here. Um, this is not plastic, which is good because otherwise I could just imagine someone like my three-year-old toddler pulling down on it and cracking it off if it was made out of plastic. So fortunately, they did the right thing, made it out of metal. Um, it's a pretty simple device. I mean, it's just literally screws onto the pipe and directs the water down into the tub. Um, and then it's got this piece here, you know, to control when the shower head turns on and off. Um, you know, pretty simple. Operates just like any other, you know, shower uh, head equipment um, you know it's got all the pieces that are necessary it even has the uh, Allen wrench to secure the um, bathtub faucet um, to the pipe um, and I only know that because I was reading the instructions so um, they gave you that they also gave the uh, some of the plumbers tape this is essential I see a lot of water installations where somehow professional plumbers skip over this. They think that they don't need it, that it's you know, not required, either because they put a paste or something around the threads. This is still required. You need this on your threads. Reason being, this is a thicker material than a paste. A paste will thin out as you screw the threads on. This will stay in one piece for the most part and it will create a gap barrier so that the water cannot seep through the microscopic 
um, gaps between the threads. So yeah, definitely use the tape. Glad they provided that. Um, you know, you've got, you've got literally all the parts you need in here. Um, the only thing I wish they would have done is label these um, specifically, like just even put a little sticker on, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, um, etc. for each part. That way they could have just, in the manual, said, okay, this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, blah, blah, blah. Um, that would have made it really easy to identify that you have all the parts. But it's not like you're working with 100 or 500 different parts. It's probably less than 20 parts overall to identify. So, And they're, they're pretty easy to identify between each other. Um, obviously, you know, shower head, hydrostatic valve, water handle, bathtub faucet. You know, that's four parts right there. Um, actually, you know, it's probably less than 10 parts, to be honest. So, yeah, not too hard. Just, um, it would, it does require some standing to get the shower head installed. Obviously, you got to put that tape around and you got to make sure that the threads are on straight and, um, that your pipe is not damaged from the prior install, you know, stuff like that. You know, if there's any debris in the pipe, you got to clean out that debris before you put it on because otherwise you'll just clog up your shower head. Um, but, yeah, so once my back's a little bit better, I, I definitely plan on installing this. And um, it, if I do replace anything, it would just be that shower head. I, I may replace it with a uh, larger rainfall shower head down the line. I, I got one previously, but it, it was a little bit too large for our shower. Um, so I'm hoping to find one that's about the right size. But other than that, I'm, I'm pleased with this. So thank you for watching my video review, and have a great day.